Today's Live in the D is sponsored in part by Metro EHS Pediatric Therapy, revealing the super in every child. April is Autism Awareness Month, and all month long we've been showing you how our sponsor, Metro EHS, is helping children on the autism spectrum gain a fuller life through various forms of therapy. Metro EHS is a pedi pediatric neighborhood therapy company that has 14 locations across Metro Detroit, including three more that are on the way, meaning there is a location near you that can help your family with therapy for conditions like autism and beyond. That's Right. Today, April Morton shares how they are helping children take literal steps in the right direction. Children will experience many milestones, and one big one parents look forward to is learning to walk. But after a year or two, if parents notice their child is walking on their toes, they should be aware of what this could possibly mean. The walking is what happens with our little kiddos um, that are looking for more of that sensory input in their feet. And typically, we start to get concerned about this around the ages two to three. Our little kiddos that are still learning to walk, they're still figuring out the surfaces, how to get their feet down, what they're doing. We're not as concerned about that, but kind of after that two, two and a half year mark, if their kiddos are toe walking and are up on their toes, on the balls of their feet, or actually on their tippy toes, is when we would start to be a little bit more concerned. Kelly Johns, the director of physical therapy and other experts at Metro EHS says, toe walking around the age of two or three is concerning because it could be a possible sign that a child may be on the autism spectrum. Kiddos on the spectrum tend to be more prone to toe walking due largely to the amount of sensory input they receive from walking on their toes, on the balls of their feet, or even just having their calf muscles engaged in that upright position. Experts say if a child is toe walking more than 50% of the time, they suggest having them evaluated for a possible physical or occupational therapy, which they offer at Metro EHS locations throughout Metro Detroit. They say receiving this help could prevent possible issues in the future. A lot of times if a kid is toe walking down the line it will impact how their pelvis is tilted which can go into some future pelvic pain, back pain, um, leg differences. The way their pelvic tilts always impacts their core as well so then they have a weaker core which can carry over into other aspects of their life. But the big, big thing I really worry about is that heel cord, the Achilles tendon that wraps behind the heel, can shorten over time if they're always up on those toes. And that can cause for a need for surgery down the line to re-lengthen that heel cord. In addition to therapy, she says, there are ways parents can help at home. This is that heel cord, that Achilles tendon that gets really, really tight for our toe walkers give them some stretches, ooh, good job. They can also have a kiddo walk around in swim flippers. Bring that knee straight to your chest like you're marching. Whoa, big marches. That was so much better, good job. Again, there are 14 Metro EHS locations in Metro Detroit, and three more are on the way. To find the location nearest to you so Metro EHS can help with ABA, speech, occupational feeding, or physical therapies, go to the website metroehs.com. Again, that's metroehs.com.